Hey guys, what is up? It's a new day. That means a new video. Um, I'm doing a couple of different projects. I'll make a paper gun. And there is also a surprise mystery project at the end. And you will need... I have my paper pre-done. But you'll need to take a paper folded hamburger style and cut it directly in half for that project. Right now I'm going to set this off this off side and make my and make the paper done. Okay. Fold your paper. I'm going to move my tape. Fold your paper hamburger bun style if this paper will ever fold. Fold it hamburger style again. If you and then fold it hamburger style one more time. If you want, you can um make your gun like this, but I'm gonna have mine folded in half like this. And then you're gonna take your tape tape up both ends it does not have to be completely taped but have over here and over here at least taped up And then you're going to take it one more time, fold it hamburger style, hot dog hamburger, just in half. And then you're going to take one end, that bends down like this. You can, you can use hot glue to put that together, but right now I don't have my hot glue gun ready to use. I actually lost my hot glue gun. I'll find it though. And you'll take it, tape up this whole thing right here where it folds. If you have this problem to where it won't fold, take your scissors. You don't want to actually cut this off. My scissors are all the cut. Cut it to where it could still fold. Like this. You may want to cut it off a little bit of it so it ain't gonna be too long if you want to if you want you can just leave it like this because then it'd be a little paper boomerang I don't know if it'd fly straight or not but from here I'm gonna take a sheet of paper I'm not using this paper back here because it's for the um, surprise mystery project. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this and cut it. You won't need the whole this whole entire strip. Take this, either you can throw it away or keep it for your own extra project that you might have. I need 
need those. And I just threw them. What the heck? Um. Cut off a little bit. Fold it up. But this paper order will ever fold. You won't need too much tape. You'll need more than this, but not too much. Because you also need to have it to where the whole paper could still be flexible enough. Whoa, that is way too much tape. I need to get some different tape in my next for my ne other videos. Ooh, my back hurts. That's what I get though. I'm standing up doing all this. <laughs> you want to take your paper. Bend it up kind of like into the form of the ring, like I did in my other video. Roll it up and all. Because you need that ring part. Where'd I put the tape's right there? Holy dang, I am blind, people. I am completely blind. Now, this is the hard part because you have to have this attach. And since I have a little bit right here that wasn't taped up, this way I could find where I would want it. Sorry guys, I think I might be sick. Set your tape off to the side. Probably make it easier to do this. Find where you want it. It doesn't it doesn't have to be perfect. And that I need a new piece of tape. That tape folded up on me. That's happened a lot in my video. If y'all was wondering what that noise is, that's my little sister being bratty and won't be quiet and leave me alone. Um, sorry about her. She's being very bratty today. <coughs> sorry, guys. Yeah, I think I'm most likely sick. Tape up both ends. Because then you have that little thing where... And then you'll have that little thing you could add. I'm not going to add it. But y'all would just take another piece of paper. Roll it up. And this one will, be, will need to be smaller. 
and then you'd have that thing that hangs down for your gun. I accidentally made this space too small. I'm not going to take it apart. But there y'all have it. A paper gun. Okay. And now the surprise one. I promise y'all. Um. Ooh wee, my back hurts. I have to keep my computer plugged in. It's dying. You can set your gun off to the side. You'll take your two sheets of paper. I'm changing the size that I'm standing at because my back hurts. You'll want to roll it up. And then like in my last video, if y'all have scissors on hand, stick it in. It'll keep it in place for you. It doesn't have to be perfect. But you'll want to keep it as thin as possible. See how my like mine unroll? Just roll it back up. It's a okay. And you'll want to repeat this twice. Keep it up. Um, you'll crush it. Because you don't at all want it to be a tube anymore. Crush it all up. And you'll want to repeat that step twice. I'm going to be smart. Take my piece of tape. And attach it. before I roll it up. So that way, when I roll it up, it just rolls straight onto the tape, like that. For the next step, you'll just tape these two tubes together at one end. Well, they're not tubes anymore, so I don't think I, I should keep calling them tubes. Take them. Put them together. I'm going to lay down my tape. Align these both on, roll them together, you keep them in place, so that way I can add an extra piece of tape to the top and then to the bottom too. Just roll it up. I'm taking my scissors and gonna cut off some of this so it's not too long. If my scissors even want to cut. Nope, guess not. I guess you could fold it up to make it a sturdier, stronger handle.
And if you still have scissors on hand, use your scissors to keep it together. Yours will cut, and yours is as long as mine. If you can cut it, cut a little bit off. But if you don't want to, it'll make it a stronger handle. So it'll be um, better and easier to hold as you use it. And then you're going to take your rubber band, find some part of it, and snap. Some of y'all who might have already figured out what I am making, I am making a comment down, comment down below if you know what I'm making. it up tie it once maybe do it like three times I'm gonna do mine three times because of how long my rubber band is I'm not at all gonna tell y'all what I'm making because I want to see who all can who all is gonna comment down below You want to leave this part of it in the middle a little loose. It is pretty hard. Ow. It hurt. So you leave it a little loose. When you do it, that way it could still stretch out and then watch. If y'all want to make these two sides sturdier, take um, another sheet of paper, cut it in half. Fold it, cut it in half. Measure each side and then roll it up. That way, then tape those onto here. That way, it'll be sturdier and easier to use. Me, I'm not going to. So now I'm going to take my sheet of paper. So I had it folded in half. You will need to fold it in half. And then fold one side halfway where it meets the middle line. Like this. And then unfold it. And then refold it like this. Make sure it completely lines it up. It's lined up completely. And then you just fold. I won't need much of this because I'm not going to make every last one of them. y'all can um set that piece of paper off to the side take your piece of tape make it just long enough you want to completely tape up the whole thing
like this. Measure how long you want each to be. I'll only do like two of them. Cut it. And then just take them, fold each of them in half, like so. And there's your goal at pieces for your toy. Just take it, line it up, and then launch. If you make your bullets out of cardboard, if you make this out of cardboard, cardboard will both make this sturdier and these a whole heck of a lot painfuler. I'm using paper because it's easier to fold and it's um, not going to be as painful as it would be with um I shouldn't have popped off with um cardboard if yours pops if yours popped off just like mine did and it's still and it keeps pop popping off repeatedly take some tape you won't need much tape You don't want to do this on front and the back, on both sides, of where it attaches to like your stick piece things. I'm trying so hard not to say what it actually is because some of y'all might not at all have any idea what y'all what it might be. It's okay if it does bend back like that. It's okay if it does that. But make sure you keep your thumb here. Maybe even two fingers. And launch. There you have it, folks. That's all for today. Like, subscribe, and comment down below when you're done.